One day, the teddies were playing in Amy's bedroom. I'm puffed out. Oh, and I'm very hungry. Me too. Hey, there's a plate of fresh munchy honey cakes downstairs. <gasps> Let's <Yeah>. eat them. <laughs> Just then, the bananas arrived at the Teddy's house for a visit. Uh, teddies. teddies! I don't think the Teddies are at home, B1. There's no sign of them, B2. Uh, oh, well, well. <laughs> did you hear that, B1? I certainly did, B2. Uh, <laughs> that's a strange noise, B1. Very, very strange noise, B2. Hello! <laughs> Here's Annie Betty oh. now! We can't get out! Morgan, Amy, Amy, and Lulu! Lulu. Teddies. Oh, the door handle broke off bananas, and now we can't yes. open the door. Don't worry, Teddies. We'll get you out. <laughs> We've been in here so long, bananas, and we're very, very hungry. Oh, my tummy's rumbling. It's a food emergency. <laughs> oh, dear, B2. Uh, we should bring them something to eat, B1. Uh, are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's, it's rescue time! time. <laughs> Emergency food supply! Special delivery of munchy honey cakes and yellow jelly. Uh, this won't fit, B2. Uh, try this, B1. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, I can smell the They won't fit under the door. Looks like we've got problems, B1. Big problems, B2. Uh, hang on, Teddies. Uh, we'll get some food to you somehow. Hurry, Hold on. <laughs> I think, B1, that for food to fit under the door, it needs to be flatter. Ooh, flat food. Good thinking, B2. How are you going, B1? Oh, not so good, B2. This rolling pin doesn't make flat cakes. It just makes crumbs. How are you going, B2? <laughs> Let's try and make flat jelly. Uh, ew, no, just squishy jelly. <laughs> We've got to get some flat food. Flat food. Flat. Flat. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's, it's pizza, pizza time. time. So the bananas brought fresh pizza from Rat's shop for the hungry teddies. One medium ham and pineapple pizza. And one large rat special supreme pizza. Oh, oh well done, bananas! Now, B2, it's time to rescue, rescue the teddies! <laughs> Never fear, teddies! We'll fix the door and get you out. Pliers, B1. Pliers, B2. Oh, bananas! Won't be long now, Teddies. Thing with the uh, pointy end, B1. Thing with the uh, pointy end, B2. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, sorry, B2. There. Ready, B1? Ready, B2. The Teddies wanted to find a special way to say thank you to the bananas. Omelets are certainly flat, B1. Oh, they certainly are, B2. Oh, and fettuccine. Oh, <laughs> flat spaghetti, B2. And pancakes. Oh, lovely and pancakes. The teddies and the bananas had fun for the rest of the day, feasting on all kinds of flat food. Oh, these are pancakes. Are they very sweet? And they're very sweet. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. They're so Would you like to go on a treasure hunt or solve a mystery? What we need is someone who's clever at finding things. Then join Zigbee and his friends. It looks like... A, a treasure, treasure map! For an exciting journey through the jungle. Zigbee Weekdays.
Swim, little turtle. Swim, swim, swim. Hello. Hello. Turtles in play school today. And oh, you got here him. he is. Got him. <laughs> and he has his turtle head yep. sticking out, and a hard shell, and turtle legs, and a little turtle tail. The back. Yeah. <laughs> and his little back legs have got <laughs> webbing and. And little claws. Yeah. And little front legs to swim with. Here we go, little turtle. Swim. Swim. Swim through the rocks. There he goes. Under that tree Ooh, branch. Under the log. Look at that. <laughs> There's this turtle here. He's hiding in its shell. Oh, you can, can see his see. head. Oh, his there head he is. Oh, he's out. tucking it in. Yeah. There his little clawed legs. Yeah. And it's a beautiful pattern. Here underneath. He's a bit shy. You can stay on the rock if you want, turtle. Oh. There once was a turtle whose name was Myrtle. Who had a friend whose name was Squirtle. Hmm. They swam and they danced. Stuck and... their head in and out. Yep. They did the hokey pokey with a scream and a shout. <laughs> <laughs> A turtle doing the hokey pokey. Oh, yes, they're very good at it. Really? Oh, yeah. Do you know the hokey pokey? Come on. You Stick put your turtle, turtle head in, you put your turtle head out, you put your turtle head in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn around. That's what it's all about. Oh, the hokey pokey. Oh, the hokey pokey. Oh, the hokey pokey. That's what it's all about. Turtle legs this time. Got your turtle leg ready? Whoa. You put your turtle leg in. You put your turtle leg out. You put your turtle leg in. And you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn around. That's what it's all about. Oh, the hokey pokey. Oh, the hokey pokey. Oh, the hokey pokey. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Turtles can't really do the hokey pokey. No, that's just silly. <laughs> there are other silly things in the ning nang nong. Where the trees go ping. And the cows go bong. <laughs> Never seen a, a teapot that jibber jabber jews. No. No. Only at the ning nang nong. Mm hmm. Another teapot here. Not a jibber jabber jew teapot, but a box teapot. Oh. Well, it's nearly finished. Just needs some spots, I think. Spots? Yes. Spot. 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 And last one. There. <laughs> Oh, nearly complete. But what else does a teapot need? Mm. I think it needs a handle. Here we go, handle. And a spout. Oh, there we are. A teapot. But this is no ordinary teapot. This is a teapot cafe. Oh, there with a counter. For people to order their coffee or tea. Mm -hmm. And these can be tables for the customers to sit at. There, two tables for the cafe. And here is Frank. Hello. Frank makes the tea and coffee. Frank is a barista. Mm -hmm. La la la. Do, 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 do. Here tea. comes Mandy. Mandy's meeting some friends here at the oh. cafe. Hello, Frank. Hello, Mandy. I'll have a pot of tea, please. Oh, Ooh. and a muffin. Would you like your muffin heated up? Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Take a seat and I'll bring it right out to you. Do, 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 do. Making tea, making oh, tea. Frank is table. making tea. <sighs> la, 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 la. Dingle, 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 dangle. Oh. Come on, 
<laughs> Here comes Roger. Roger's in a bit of a hurry. Uh, morning, Frank. I'll oh. just have the usual. Thank you. Oh, one skinny cappuccino coming right up. Thank you. <laughs> one skinny cappuccino. Oh, thank you. <laughs> See you later. Bye. And, well... Here comes Frank. There we go, Mandy. Pot of tea. And... A little muffin. A little muffin, a heated up muffin. Fastest cafe in play school. Do you ever have a cup of tea? Maybe from a teapot. Oh. What does a teapot have? A teapot has a handle and a spout. Mm-hmm. Do you have your handle and spout ready? I'm, I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, then I shout. Tip me over, pour me out. What about another teapot? Ooh. Ready? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, then I shout. When I get all steamed up, then I shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Tip me over and pour me out. Singing, I'm a little teapot. Teapot. I'm a little teapot. 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 Going to see another cafe now. Through the windows. Wonder which window it'll be today. Is it the square window? No. Goodbye, diamond window. Maybe the round window. <gasps> it's the arched window today. I think Hope liked her baby Chino. Do you like to go out? Bear does. She's dressed in her best clothes. A beautiful pink dress and sparkly shoes and a ribbon in her hair. She's a busy bear and has lots of different things to do today. Change her clothes. Let's see. Hmm. Put on your tutu. Put on your slippers. Put on your headband. We're going out today. Wow. Now Bear is wearing a tutu and some slippers and she has a headband in her hair. Do you know where Bear might be going dressed up like that? Do you think she's going to the pool? Maybe to bed? No, that's silly. Bear is dressed up for dancing. Ballerina Bear is going to a dance class. One and two. Stretch and bend and one and two and one and one and rest. Let's change her clothes now. We'll dress her up to go somewhere else. Put on your helmet. Oh, I wonder where she's going. Put on your space suit. Ah. Put on space boots we're going out today aha do you know where bear might be going she's got a space helmet on and a space suit and space boots hmm do you think she's going shopping no she'd look pretty silly going up to the shops dressed like that that's right, I think Bear is going for a ride in a rocket. You think? Yes. She's going for a walk in space. 
walking around, turning around slowly, and back down to earth. Ah, that was fun. Let's dress up Bear again. I wonder where she's going now. Let's see. Put on your footy shorts. Put on your T-shirt. Put on your footy boots. We're going out today. Can you guess where Bear's going out dressed like that? Yes. She's going out to play soccer in the park. Kick, kick, head, kick, head. I'm still learning. Kick, head, hoop. Ooh, oh, scored a goal. Hooray! Bear getting dressed to go out. Clothes for dancing and clothes for walking in space and clothes for playing soccer. Hmm. There's somebody else getting dressed up to go out in the story today. But what do we do before the story? Yes, we look at the clock. What time is it on the hickory dickory clock? Well, the long hand is pointing straight up, so it's something o'clock. The short hand is pointing to the seven. So it's seven o'clock on the hickory room with a wardrobe and a dressing table. Hello, I'm Gloria Grand, and I'm the star of this story. How are you? And I'm going to tell the story. It's called Gloria Grand Gets Ready, and it goes like this. One day, Miss Gloria Grand received an invitation in the mail. Mm -hmm. Ding dong! Mm -hmm. <gasps> I've got mail! I've got mail! <gasps> Oh. Dear Gloria Grand, come to a dance at 3 p.m. Oh, a dance! <laughs> Gloria was very excited and started to get ready. Going to a dance, going to a dance, going to a dance, going to a dance. Oh. First, she put on her makeup. Powder? <laughs> and some lipstick. Oh, <laughs> my favourite colour. <laughs> and last of all, she put on her... Mascara. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. Perfection. Now that her face was made up, Gloria Grant did her hair. But she better hurry up. She has to be there by three o'clock. Uh, comb, 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 comb. There, how do you think my hair looks? <laughs> it's very easy to maintain. <laughs> then it was time to choose some earrings. Choices, 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 so many choices. Let's see, the orange earrings? Mm, mm, no, a mm, bit cheap. Um, the purple earrings? Mm, no, mm, sending out the wrong signals. I oh, know, the blue earrings. Mm, there, ah oh, yes, the blue earrings with the orange and yellow necklace. There we go. <laughs> Do you think Gloria is looking very grand? I am looking very grand. But the time was getting away on her, and Gloria Grand still had to get her outfit on. Oh, time is really getting away on me, and I've really got to get my outfit on. Now, where is my favourite dress? Um, oh, we... oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> my favourite pink skirt. Into that. There. Suddenly, Gloria realised she was running late. Oh, 
I'm running late. I'm running late for the dance and I still haven't put my shoes on. Shoes, shoes. Um, oh. Now, oh, will I put on the gold shoes or the red shoes? Gold, red. Red, gold. <gasps> I know. I'll put on one of each. Um, gold, on you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, yes. That will work. And one red. Yeah, put on your red. There it is. One gold, one red. Gold, red. OK. Oh! Gloria Grand was now very unsteady. Oh! And in too much oh. of a hurry. Oh. She rushed very... out the door. Oh. And oh. tripped over the cat. Oh! Oh! Poor pussy. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, dear. Gloria ended up on the doorstep oh. in a complete mess. I'm a complete mess. Gloria oh. didn't have time to get ready again. Oh. And luckily, she wasn't hurt. Oh, and the oh. cat was okay too. <laughs> Meow. So she picked herself up, straightened her skirt and her hair, and went to the dance anyway. <sighs> to Ray. No worries, I'm off to the dance. Careful, Diddle. <laughs> and that's the end of the story. Do you like going out? There's someone else who's going out over here. It's Big Ted. Do you know what the name of today is? It's... Thursday. Thursday on the out and about calendar. Big Ted is going out to the library. He has to return these books. So, put your backpack on. Big Ted. Because we're off to the library. Come on. Off to the library, one, two, three. Off to the library, you and me. And when we get there, what do we see? Books, 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 books. Everywhere you look. Nearly there. Off to the library, two, three, four. Off to the library to take out some more. We take back the ones we took out before. Books, 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 books. Hello. How can I help you today? Well, Big Ted would like to return these books, please. Oh, not a problem. All you want to know about honey. Zip. Very interesting book. The DeBerry Code. So exciting. Zip. Famous bears of the world. Zip. Loved it. There. Feel free to browse and borrow more books if you'd like. Oh, thank you. We will. Lots of books here. No. 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 Yes. 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 Big Ted would like to borrow these books, please. Oh, not a problem. Famous bears of the world. Zip. The berry code. Mm -hmm. Zip. All you want to know about honey. Mm -hmm. Zip. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but those are the very books you just returned. Oh, yes. We know. Big Ted thought they were so good, he wants to borrow them again. Oh, OK, then. Is there anything else I can help you with? Actually, there is. Big Ted was wondering if you have any books about turtles. Oh, yes, we have many fine books about turtles. Great! Mm. This one seems to be the most popular. Great turtles in history. Hmm, sounds good. Mm. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, lots of pictures. Big Ted would like to borrow this book too, please. Oh, not a problem. Great turtles in history. Zip! Let's have a look now. Ted, 
teddy bear, teddy bear with a book. Teddy bear, teddy bear, take a look. Teddy bear, teddy bear, use your paw. Turn the page. Teddy bear, teddy bear, read some more. Very interesting. What's going on there? Teddy bear, teddy bear, close the book now. Teddy bear, teddy bear, take a bow. Big Teddy's very happy with all his books, especially the turtle book. Speaking of turtles, I wonder what the turtles are up to. Ah, yes. Mm. Let's have a look. Oh, there they are. Yep. Not really swimming now, just resting under the water. Oh, hiding under a log. Toot, toot. Come on. This one's still hiding in his shell. No arms and no legs sticking out there. Yeah. When turtles eat, they like to eat insects and tadpoles and worms. There once was a turtle whose name was Myrtle. Who had a friend whose name was Squirtle. They swam, they danced. Popped their head in and out. Did the hokey pokey with a scream and a shout. <laughs> it's time for us to go now. Maybe you'd like to sing a song or do the hokey pokey. Or maybe even read a book. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Board. We're off to the enchanting land of Chuggington. Where are you all off to? We're going out with Bound with Owen today. To earn our navigation badges. Bet you wish you could come too. Children can ride along with the playful engines as they learn about teamwork and friendship. Magnet off! Well done, Hodge! There's lots of adventures, so get on board and enjoy the ride. Oh, hey! Chuggington, weekdays on ABC. This is a wonderful place, is it not? This is Grover saying hello to all my friends in Australia on ABC Kids. If you're in trouble and you need someone to help you out, there's no need to whistle and there's no need to shout. Hey, 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 help is on its way. Sammy often looked up at the night sky wearing his space helmet. He wished he could be the first shopkeeper on the moon. Oh. But it seemed so far away. Frank and Buster were out on their daily patrol, looking for anyone who might need their help. Uh-oh. Did you put fuel in the plane this morning, Buster? Uh, no. Uh... Neither did I. Hello? Josie? I wonder where Josie and Sammy have got to. We'd better take a look inside, Buster. See if anyone's about. Good idea, Frank. Anybody here? Oh, uh, hello, Frank. Hello, Buster. Uh, hello, hello, Josie. Josie. We've come to get some fuel for the plane. And to pick up the groceries. Oh, sorry, but Sammy hasn't packed them up yet. Where is Sammy? He's out the back. He's been acting a bit strange all morning. How strange? It's a little hard to say. <gasps> Maybe I'll just pop out the back and see if he's all right, eh? Good idea, Buster. I'll help Josie pack the groceries. Thanks. Right then. <gasps> oh. Uh, morning, Sammy. Oh, uh, 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 uh good day, Buster. 
Um, what are you doing? Oh, you'll think it's silly. You can tell me, Sammy. Well, I was moving slowly to see what it was like to walk on the moon. Wow. That's good. Yeah. I really wish I was an astronaut. I told you it was silly. Well, maybe we can help. How? Well, the moon is such a long way away. Don't worry, Sammy. Frank will think of something. Is Sammy all right, Buster? He wants to walk on the moon. What? He wants to walk on... I'll tell you later. You'd better tell me later. Bye. Sammy felt a lot better. With the Koala Brothers to help him, maybe his dream could come true. Frank? Buster? Could you build a rocket? I suppose I could. Why, Buster? It's just Sammy really needs one. Hmm, I see. Oh, well, I'm sure we've got some stuff we could use. Uh, I know. I'll go and get the odds and ends box. Great idea, Frank. Buster liked it when Frank got the odds and ends box out. There was always something inside he hadn't seen for ages. Hey, Frank. Oops. It's my old telescope. I wonder if it still works. Give it a whirl. Cooey! Oh. What you doing? I'm gonna make Sammy a rocket. Oh, that's nice. A rocket. That's right, Ned. Sammy really needs one. Can I help? Wow. Sure. I'd better go and see Sammy. Tell him the good news about his rocket. I should have it finished later. That's great, Frank. Bye. 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 See yous. Frank didn't waste any time. He was going to make Sammy a rocket to be proud of. <laughs> With Ned's help, of course. What do you think this is, Ned? Mm, a funnel, Frank? No, Ned. It's the top of a rocket. The nose cone. Well... It looks like a funnel to me. Well, yes, it is a funnel, but I'm going to use it as the top of Sammy's rocket. Right. Meanwhile, Buster was helping Sammy train for his space journey. They were pretending the back of his store was the moon. How are you feeling, Sammy? Oh, gee, Buster, I feel like I'm floating on air. Air? Sammy, there isn't any air on the moon. And no air? So, how am I going to breathe, Buster? Well, you can take some air with you. Really? Oh, huh, you had me worried there for a minute. Polly, I thought you might be thirsty. Thanks, Josie. Mm, yeah, thanks. Hey, Josie, could you get some balloons from the store? Sure. What size? Big ones. As big as you can find. Wow, Frank. It's a beauty. The funnel really works. Yeah. I hope Sammy likes it. It's Sammy and Buster. They're just in time. Good day, all. Hi, Sammy. <laughs> How's the rocket? It's a beauty, Buster. Great. Sammy's just getting ready. Ready for what? Ready for blast off. He can't wait to get to the moon. Oh! Frank suddenly realised the rocket may not be quite what Sammy was expecting. He's got a box on his head, Frank. I know, Ned. I think it's a space helmet. What's with the balloons? It's his air supply. Good day, everyone. Good day, Sammy. Hi, Sammy. Right. Where's the rocket? <sighs> um, it's over there. Thanks, Frank. Ah. Uh, it's a bit small. Uh, I'm sorry, Sammy. I didn't know you wanted a real rocket. Uh, it's all right, Frank. You did your best. Hey, you might not have the rocket, but we've got the next best thing. What's that, Frank? Our plane. Good idea. 
You could go on a night flight, Sammy. You won't get to the moon, but you'll be a lot nearer to it. Let's give it a go. So, as the moon shone down on the outback, Sammy set off with Frank. He was going to be the first shopkeeper nearly on the moon. small flight for Frank, but it meant a great deal to Sammy. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you enjoyed your night flight, Sammy. Oh, the moon was so wonderful, like a, a big shiny balloon. But it did make me realise just how far away it really is. I mean, even if I had a rocket, a big one, it would take days to get there, and I couldn't leave the store for that long, could I? Oh, guess not, Sammy. You really love the moon, don't you, Sammy? Yeah. It's just a shame it's so far away. Here, have a look through this. Wow! Great, isn't it? It's like I can almost touch the moon. You can have it if you'd like. What? The moon? No, Sammy. My telescope. <gasps> oh, thanks, Buster. And thanks, everyone. We're here to help, Sammy. What about your balloons? You can have them if you like. There's enough for one each. Thanks, Sammy. Great. Thanks. thanks. So whenever the night was clear, Sammy would close his store and look at the moon. It looked so close, he felt like the first shopkeeper to walk on the moon. <laughs> Thanks to the Koala brothers. kids around. Shiny and Lola! Mum says we can't do anything until our bedroom is all clean and tidy. But it is all clean and tidy. If only all brothers and sisters got on so well. Then it's time to find out about the new girl in town. Hi, Ellen. How was school? It was fantastic. I was the star of a huge movie. She's got the most amazing imagination. A fun preschool double. Weekdays 8.35 on ABC One. Dorothy the Dinosaur, and you're watching ABC Kids. Hey! Sparkling jewels hung like fruit from the trees. As he picked the jewels, Aladdin noticed the dusty old lamp. It looked worthless, but he remembered the magician's word, so he gathered it up. But as Aladdin climbed back towards the surface, the earth began to shudder and shake. The magician held out his hand. Quick, throw me the lamp! 